What? <laughs> Nothing. Good morning. Today is Saturday, September 10th, 2022. Week 197. I'm surprised you know you cheated. You looked at the sheet. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's why it's there. There's a laptop right here so there. I can see the numbers. It is although, good sheet. Although my numbers have not changed. Last week I was 346. This week I'm 346. So I'm saying. We're better than going up. That's right. Last week I was 165 and this week I was 162. Hey, that's great. That's yeah. three down. Yeah. Yep. If I do my math right. <laughs> you did your One, math right. One poundy poundy, two poundy poundy. Remember to count? Uh -huh. Three poundy I poundy. I do remember that. That's awesome. What do you think made the difference this week? Um, I went back and made um, hard boiled eggs. So I've had some eggs. Um, I've changed up and I'm uh, not eating when I get home from work. My schedule's All so later. late when I'm getting home so late. So I've just made it a point to make sure that I have um, my last dinner at work. Because there are times where I'm working until 10, 15, um, 9, between 9 and 10. So it's late. So I've really been making sure that... Um, there was one day, one day we actually ate dinner at 2 o'clock in the morning. That was when our day ended so that we could actually sit down to eat. We were starving. We pushed all day. Remember the day we did all those t-shirts? Yes. Yeah, she got home like 8.30. About 9 o'clock we went downstairs to start working on that. Both of us, neither of us had eaten. And by the time we finished, it was after 2. And then when we sat down, we were like, I'm starving. And, you know, it was 2 o'clock in the morning by the time yeah. we ate. We had to get it done, though, because my friend was coming over in the morning. Uh, she was heading out of town um, prior to that. Uh, we were hoping to have gotten it done before that, but um, yeah. just a, Hectic everything didn't schedule. happen. And then I went on vacation. and uh, So I think, you know, for me, it's it's the eating late at night. Planning. Um, yep. Planning. And, Making um, sure 7 o'clock or 6 o'clock you're eating your dinner. You're having enough, maybe even a little snack on your last break or something. A little yeah, and taking handful. carrots and you know veggies and. No, we haven't had it in a while. But and the reason why is because our kids just destroy them. But like just a little bit of almonds or something like because just I was even thinking about one pistachios or two ounces the other day. One or two ounces of almond and a little Ziploc or something is a good snack for you. It's yeah, good with the oils and the. Yeah, it's a good thing. I think I'll be getting some um, some almonds. Um, I like to throw a little pistachio in there every now and again. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I think just trying to get back to the basics. I haven't done carb manager or anything, but I know for me a lot of it is eating later at night. And then I go to bed. See, I've been kind of lazy on carb manager lately because I know what I eat. I mean, I'm this morning I made two scrambled eggs. Do I need to put that in there? No. <laughs> right. Two eggs. <laughs> Just the way that, you know, simple stuff. And Stacy was so wonderful. She went to um, Meyer and she actually found some chicken thighs and stuff. So I, I had chicken for like three days straight. It was so nice. So I, I, was, I was just happy to have some chicken. My oldest daughter is home and she likes pork chops. I do like so. your pork chops. I don't like oh, pork chops. Oh, you like my pork They're chops? They're good though with the breading on it. Well, yeah, it's, it's the parm breading, but. Parmer Parmesan uh, crusted. Uh, pork chops. I forget the really recipe. Yummy. What's almond flour in it? Um, almond flour. A little bit of almond flour. Most of it's Parmesan cheese. Um, but they get a nice crust when you do it in yeah. the sear it in the pan. That's yeah. good. So I'm excited to have some of those. And um, I'm going to get back to get some turkey lunch meat. Uh, I don't eat a lot of lunch meat. I don't eat a lot of meat. But I do like the turkey lunch meat with the... Um, the Aioli? With the aioli, but with doing the egg and cheese as my base. Okay. But kind of my Stacy flatbread. Oh, I'm thinking like egg and cheese on a sandwich. But no, no, egg and that's cheese. That's your wrap. And then make, anyway. Yeah, they make that as my wrap. I haven't um, seen you make those in a long time. It's been a long time. But you get back to that, and you'll probably see another two pounds down or something. Yeah, yeah. Because they lean on like the Aunt Millie's carb bread or whatever, and we know that that's not really great for you yeah you know too many things say keto on them and then when you flip them over and you just start reading the labels like that's that's just they're just trying to cash in on the whole keto thing because yeah. it's not and really that good for you i'm not a big sandwich person i like a warm sandwich which is why i like the the egg and uh, cheese uh for the base for the um when for the bread i would usually it would be like if i made 
sunny side up. I call them dipping eggs. Yeah, because you Cause want Because then you want to toast to dip it with. Yeah, um, I get that. But as a regular, I'm not a fan of just a sandwich. You know, so I don't eat very much You like much your of smash that. burgers. I love my smash burgers. The little thin ones because that way it gets a nice crisp on both sides. That's what Stacy's all about, the texture. And since we've gotten the grill, I really like doing the, I eat the chicken breast because I don't like the dark meat. Um, the uh, Cuban up and just doing chicken. The, chick, the chicken on the grill. I like it like that versus chicken in the oven. Yeah, and I've learned that even the, even the most simplest thing that we think, you know, like that whiskey bourbon burger stuff, you got to really look at the labels because that was full of a bunch of yeah. junk. But, you know, you could... Just simplify it and use a little garlic powder, a little onion powder, oh, yeah. a little salt and pepper. Just really gives it some flavor. I'm going to get some chicken soon. I even put a little bit of soy sauce on like some cubed up chicken and just get, or teriyaki if I can get the G Hughes or something that's got yeah. a little better label than a bunch of sugar in it. Yeah. Even though those aren't exactly perfect, but just to give it some flavor. Yeah. We're not talking about swimming in it. We're just a couple dab. Yeah. Dabble do you. A little dabble do you. That's what they say. What's that from butter or something? I don't know. Sour cream or something. I'm a little tired. I don't know. Daisy we've been something. trying to we've been trying to sleep more. I've been staying off this ankle. I cracked that bone on the side of it, and uh, it's going to take about five six weeks to heal. So um, I'd say I get maybe an hour to two hours with the work done. Yeah. Like we've been working outside and in the yard and in the in the backyard and in the front yard, and then uh, and then I gotta call it. I do that little tag team and I say, Stace. And then Stace just keeps going because she never stops. So she's done amazing stuff. She's probably gotten about 80% of the work done that I had to start and couldn't finish. I That's did most great. of the driveway power washing it. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. I got this little round thing that you put on your power washer and you it's very clean. very satisfying. Yes, yes. It's, it's like, yeah. You see that little line that you just cleaned and you're like, oh, I got to do the next line. I got to do the next line. But we got a long driveway. And in a wide driveway, and uh, yeah, I got about, like what would you say I got, about 70% of the driveway? Yeah. Something like that, 75% or so, and I just couldn't finish it. My shoulders were killing me, and I was just, my ankle was, I was broken. So Stace came out, and she finished it, but I could see, like, the smile on her face. She was enjoying using the then power I washer. Then I started paving bricks yeah, on then, our retaining wall. Like, we have these, uh, I don't know, what's this house, 20 years old, a little over 20 years yeah. old. So we got these bricks that were all laid out, and I'm sure they're original to the house. Oh, yeah. And you hit it with the power washer, and you just see, like, this clean come up from that. So you start on one thing, and then you do the sidewalk, and then you do the driveway, and then you do the, the top of the bricks, and then you do the brick on the side of the house, and then you do the gutters. And <laughs> so it's like it never ends. But we're, we're really sprucing the place up. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. It's just taking a little longer because I don't have physical... Six hours in me to work on something. I could only get an hour or two in, and then I got to sit down and ice the ankle. And yeah, just got to take it easy. Yeah. And our next project is going to be stripping out the drive between all the cracks. We have like broken up seal and and yeah. then big gaps. So we're going to fill that with sand, put some backer rod in, and then put some new sealing in and seal that driveway up so the pads don't heat. The driveway's going to look pretty. It's going to look really good. I, I just, the hard time is, the hardest part is finding the time that we can devote to that project. Because even when you're off, you're not off because you're doing body art or you're doing the reservations for Camus or mm -hmm. something. We had one afternoon yesterday where we didn't have any commitment to anywhere else. Until, Although you did yeah, body you art. Yeah, body art. But we had like a morning, I should say. Good Lord. Julia has to get up. Her bus picks her up at 6.15 in the morning. So we're up at 5.30. And Which doesn't work well when we go to done bed. don't know how to go sometimes. to sleep. <laughs> yeah, we don't get to I'm bed like, sometimes until oh, <laughs> really late. So you, you get into that. I mean, if I could get five hours of sleep, that would be a really good day. Yeah. Try him. Stace cut my hair. What do you think? Look good? Don't judge too much. Oh, it looks fine. I think I it looks like great. It, it, feels, it feels wonderful. And it's and it's so much less hot when I'm Aww. all sweaty, you know? Yeah, it's wonderful. I appreciate <laughs> you. Thank you. You're she welcome. did a great job. She sees when I cut my hair. And she's like, let me just fix that for you. Because I kind of just, I get irritated and I get hot. So I just start shaving and she's like, please don't. I look like a skinhead 
By the time I'm done, I'll just shave the whole thing and say, I don't care. Yeah. But it's like less hot for me. I know. That's why I shave. You can tell I'm irritated when I cut my own hair. The day I cut my own hair and you come home, my hair is all like like shaved like oh. I did. You know, it's been a bad day. Yeah. And I just kind of had it. Yeah, I don't know. We had a kitty showing up at our door for a couple of days there. It was I really cool. I to see it. I kept, like, we had motion lights out there, and the motion lights kept going on, and I was thinking, well, trees tripping them, something's tripping them. And one day I had the front door open, and I could see down the sidewalk, and there's a big, little bitty kitty kitty. He was so cute. He's black and white. And he came for like three days in a row, and he was hanging out on our front porch by the, by the flowers. It was almost like he was hiding from somebody up there. Never did find, like, any other kitties. I never found him again. He came for, like, three days straight. And then for a couple of nights, I even put some little stuff on the porch and left <laughs> the door open so I could see the cat, you know, if he came up to the door. And he just never came back. Aww. So somebody probably found him, saw him, picked him up, and yeah. said, oh, look, a kitty. And now He's they're... mine. Yeah. If you weren't allergic, I'd have probably done it. I know you would have. Yeah, she's just allergic to cats, so. I love kitty cats, but. Um, we tried Bengals, we tried Persian, we tried, there was another one, Burmese, Siamese, Burmese, mix. Siamese mix, um, whatever it was, it just made you, um, sneeze away. I, I wanted to try a Sphinx, the one with no hair, but she thinks that they're ugly. I think they're adorable. I would, I'd just be happy to have a little kitty, but Stacy won't do it. It's okay. No. I understand. I'll pass. Well, the girls were were in line too. They're like, "Oh yeah," I'm like, mm, "No, no, I would try it." But they're expensive too, though. It's not like you can go for thirty dollars at the Humane Society and pick up yeah. a kitty cat. Yeah, you know, Sphinx cats are I'm like nine hundred dollars to fifteen hundred dollars <throat> or something. Not yeah. happening. Yeah, I don't think so. Not my budget. You stick with the fish. Now, if somebody said, "Here's a cat. This person passed away," or something, and Somebody needs to take care of it. Of course, I'm going to be like, oh, put it on TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. I got this kitty cat. Because that's the ones I watch all the time. Puppies and kittens. Although, you know, like they'll Very go. Very true story. Or they'll like go rescue a turtle off the road or something. It's like, <laughs> oh. Got to be careful with those snappers. Though. They'll get you. Yeah. And their necks come out really far. And they can get you. They're like, <laughs> They'll snap your finger right off. See? I lost a couple. I tried to help them across the road. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's it for us. We are trying to modify some diets and some things and maybe pick up a little uh, little bit of uh, almonds or something at um, Costco. Yeah. I'll we'll just hide them from the kids. And they won't know we have them. Put them where all the cleaning supplies are. We'll never find them. Right. Right? Where the garbage oh, bags I should have done a fun spot. tattoo right there. So that when I did that, you guys could have seen the tattoo. Say, shh. Right? I'll cut you S-H-H-H-H. -H -H. I could do it by then myself. Do... I don't need you to cut it. I can. Because I'm that good. I could just write it right in there with my stencils. You could do F-Y-I-L-Y. -Y. Beth. So, I don't know if you watch Yellowstone, but Beth has this phrase that she says that she's like, <laughs> F-Y-I-L-Y. Love you. L -Y. <laughs> yeah. And that's just kind of Stacy's little, when she's mad at me, she says that. It's okay. I deserve it. <laughs> I do. I deserve it a lot of times. Oh, one of I my managers a, at work I said that the pain. other day and I was like, you watch Yellowstone? He goes, oh Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'd like to know which manager is telling you "f you, I love you." No, it was it was. We, they always do Jason, he, him, and Brent go into these southern drawl type of things, mm. and so they're making fun of me now. <laughs> okay, I, I see. said okay. I said my name's not Beth. He, he starts laughing. He goes, "You watch it too," and I said, "Oh yeah." I said that would probably had to been the best line in the entire season. Yeah, because <laughs> it caught you so off guard. You're like, whoa. But it's so Beth. It's it's so Beth, exactly. Yeah. So <sighs> we're doing we're doing a little bit better on the um, ch choices and foods, and and I see that you're bringing home like when you're doing groceries for the kids, they eat a lot of junk, and I I prefer they didn't, but 
you know, we're trying to get them switching over a little bit. And for Julie, I always tell her, just try it. And if you don't like it, I'm not going to make you eat it. Just try this, you know. Right. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. But that's okay. Yeah. But yeah, we're doing, we're doing better. I'm feeling more confident on that. Uh, I've been trying to really, um, my problem more so even than what I eat is how much I eat. I eat too much. And I know that I'm less mobile with this ankle. And I can feel it after an hour or two of doing anything. I've got to sit down and stop. So like even this morning, I just woke up and made two eggs. So, yeah. but, but my normal would be like three or four sausages, three scrambled <laughs> eggs, maybe two of the keto toast or whatever. And I'd really have a big old full plate. And I've got to really scale that back because I'm not able to be as active. Is it, yeah. So that's what we're trying to, you know, do. And I, I think you've done great this week. You're at three down. That's yeah. You know, you lose it, but I'll find it. <laughs> no, don't find you it. You lose it in the house somewhere, and I'll find it. No, I don't want you to find it. Nah. I'm going to hide it. So um, so maybe we're making some of those choices and stuff would be better. Yeah. Maybe we just need to go review some of our, the recipes that you've done. Um, we haven't done fat heads in a, well, we've about a month or two. You still got a crust. I still have one crust, yeah. I have to break out some, like, marinara or something and get some Italian cheese so I could... Yeah. I got taco cheese, so I guess I could make like a no. taco pizza. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I did like, though? I liked the barbecue chicken pizza that you made me. Yes, it had barbecue did. sauce yeah. instead of, and I used GUs. Right. And then uh, the chicken chunks. And then I don't remember, was it just like Italian cheese? I knew I had cheese on it. Yeah. I have I to go watch Italian. the video because when you made it, it was really good, but I haven't had it since forever. So, Get to it. I did the, the crust already. I got to go watch YouTube. I guess. <laughs> go watch the video and say, oh, how did she do this? I could do it. You could do it. I, I don't, I'm not good at making the crusts. When she makes the crusts and she makes a bunch of them, we do parchment paper and Ziploc bags. And then we freeze it like that. So for me, it's very fast and easy to pull a crust out. Yeah. And put the toppings on it. Yeah. That's, that's, that's my specialty. It's my skill set. These are my skills. I put it on my resume. Nobody hire me anyway. I'm too I crazy. Hire you. you hire me. I'm really good at I some things. I can free though. <laughs> yeah. I'm not so good at other things. I'm not a people person. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. He always says that. Well, I don't really want to. I don't want to work in groups and stuff because then I end up feeling like I'm doing everything and everybody else is just coasting. So then I get resentful and I'm like. Get that bitch over there eating those crackers like she owns the place, right? I do. That's what you do. <laughs> that's right. So, all right, guys. Have a great weekend, and I hope if you're doing keto, you're doing well. And that uh, trust the process. Oh, trust the process. You got to do the process too. Yeah, that's good. where that's where we're falling short. I feel like we did good for a long time. We we had done three years, really good, and then menopause, the period menopause for me, kind of just sometimes like, sometimes life gets in the way too. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna be honest. I've had other things going on with physicality and and other things that have been going on with me that take keto kind of takes a backseat to not not like I'm running out and eating Olive Garden or something, but just. It's not on my mind. It, yeah. Sometimes it's harder to focus on stuff. So that's all I'm going to say on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, hope you all are doing well and uh, we will catch you next weekend. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.